God body is simple. It means you see God when you look in the mirror and that the body of man is God and that there's no mystery God in the sky. You are God. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome to the Anabolic Mind, where we talk about the health, wealth, and our wellness connection. And uh, today we got an incredible guest. This is round two. Round one got interrupted. Uh, we lost the signal. <laughs> and it was good, too. So this is round two. We're going to try to get to the same information. So, guys, I got the CEO of Thin Energy, a guy who's been in the fitness profession for how many years? Fit, uh, you've been in the fitness industry how many years? Training, over, CEO. Over 30 years. Over, over the years in the health and Oh, over 30 years in the it's health been a journey, and space. You know, yeah. Yep. And we yeah. CEO yeah. of Thin Energy, Energy right now, yeah. Mike Gardner. Well. <laughs> yep. So without any further yeah. ado. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Definitely. That's what's up, man. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm excited to be here, Mark. Yeah, I want to talk yeah, about your sure. uh, your journey, how you first got into uh, wellness, uh, and then what got you motivated to look at it as uh, on an entrepreneurial level, and uh, what your future plans are. So let's start off with how how you got into it in the first place. Yeah, no, that, that's great. And I think it's um, kind of like you know when you and I were speaking when we first met, really started getting to know each other. Um, it was a pivotal moment, just kind of similar to your story. Um, you know, I grew up poor and, you know, I, I actually grew up in an obese family. And one of the things that really kept me in school and out of trouble was, was sports. And, um, you know, I had a basketball coach that, you know, he was my mentor and he, he just, uh, you know, just fed my mind with positive input. You know, growing up poor, you know, and seeing other people with things they don't have. And I'm talking about electricity and food and things like that. Um, you know, it was a struggle, but, you know, sports was my kind of escape. And he gave me a book called um, uh, Cybergenic. And, and I don't I think you and I spoke about that a little bit. You, you, you recall the book Cybergenics, Mark? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I read that when I was in the Navy, yeah. in fact. So, again, it's the power of the mind. Did you, did you really? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Nice. Yep. So that's a yeah, so, so powerful the thing uh, is, you know, we really. Go ahead. Yeah. No, uh, and I think, no, I appreciate it. And, and I think that the biggest thing when, when I, I got that book, it just opened up so many possibilities for me. Mm -hmm. It gave me that hope and that, that inspiration. And I really think today, you know, 30, 40 years later, we're kind of at the same point. People are looking for hope. They're looking for inspiration. And um, so how, how, you know, taking this word further, you know, one of the things, um, you know, I, I really had a yearning to, to really learn more and, and find those role models. And, you know, I, Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, um, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. I just started feeding my mind with all these positive self-help and, and, you know, I wasn't the greatest uh, student, so, you know, I, I um, you know, look back on that, and, you know, I played basketball in college, and I started, I'm like, I want to go out and make money, <laughs> and uh, so I became right. a personal trainer, and I got into the health and wellness space, and long short, um, you know, I trained a lot of NFL, NBA athletes, and professional athletes, and the one thing, though, you know, coming from a family, I always had a passion to, to help, um, you know, really combat obesity, and right. as a personal trainer, working with my clients, I really saw, you know, there was something missing. We had all the technology, we had all the information, we had all the tools, and, you know, from devices to pills to gadgets. And, you know, the problem continues to get worse. It's an epidemic. Yeah, yeah. Obesity, has yeah, obesity is, is out of control now. Yeah, exactly. 100%. So, you know, I, I think, you know, as a personal trainer, I just, God, what's missing? What's missing? I believe in the law of attraction. If you put it out there in the universe, you'll get the answer mm -hmm, uh, or mm -hmm. attract the right goal and the right information. And from there, Mark, it was, it was exciting because it clicked. Wow. The missing link was mental fitness. Nobody was really addressing. We've all heard no matter what we do in life, it's 10, 10%, 90% uh, uh, mental. The dining right. exercise was the 10%. So the foundation was mental fitness. 
And that's why I love your anabolic mind because it ties in. Right, exactly. What year was this? Oh, Lord, you're going to age me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, because it, 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 gives, it, it gives people this context year. to how ahead of your time you were conceptually. Yeah. 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 This, this was around 1998, 20, 2000, right, right in the 2000, yeah, about 20 years ago. So, you know, when I started to come up with the idea, put all the, I mean, it's not just an audio program, uh, you know, or it's an audio program with the mental fitness exercise, sets and mm -hmm. reps. Renew, remember, renew the mind to renew the, pro, renew the mind to renew the body. And again, right. if you speak it, it becomes, um, it, it becomes reality. So what you say is what you get. So whether you think you're right or wrong, you're right. You know what I'm saying? So when you start really thinking about how important the mind is, and, and what happened is, um, like you said, I was ahead of my time, and I had a lot of um, morning drive time radio. I, I was doing TV, PR. I actually was going around and just sharing my techniques. And again, I say my techniques. These were techniques that I found because the resources were there. I just reformatted it in a fun way that people were comfortable um, right. And actually, I, the, the program got guidance with bariatric physicians. And it's funny because I had a, a bariatric physician, which if people don't know what a bariatric physician is, is which I didn't. I didn't know what that was at the time. And right. uh, bariatric physicians are specially trained in obesity and weight management from diet, exercise, nutrition, uh, and behavior modification. And the one thing this, this, the doctor said to me, he says, what, what, what's, your, what's your background? What's your PhD? I'm like I don't I don't have a PhD. I'm just a personal trainer. <laughs> right, I, right. I, I put it I put it I, I put it in, in, in a format, and he says I love the format. He says, you know, one of the things as as a bariatric physician, part of our process is to go through psychotherapy and uh, go go through that process. And he says this is a doc in a box. He says it, it makes pe pe fitness is, is fun. People want to be normal. They want to feel normal. He says, I love this. So, you know, it kind of took, it took a life of its own. And then from there, Home Shopping Network picked me up. They did my infomercial, which uh, yeah, I had Arnold Schwarzenegger's partner, Jim Lormer. He drove wow. um, to, to from Columbus, Ohio to Indianapolis. And that's where I filmed it parts of the infomercial and um you know he was one, one of my mentors i mean I, I would be in the gym and he kind of took me under his wing and you know he's a firm believer in mental fitness and the mind wow. and he watched wow. me put this together and i actually launched it at arnold schwarzenegger classic so wow. you know from there yeah a lot of things just happen and, and, and you know it's funny because you know getting to know you more and, and it's a journey and i think you know you you, you attract like-minded people throughout your journey and, and again it's all about helping other people. And, and I think, you know, for me, that was a turning point in my life because it put me on the track to, uh, you know, where I'm at today with the energy because I didn't know anything about this space, the beverage space. But what happened right. is I, I was on QC. I, I was home shopping network, did my commercial. Then I was on QVC, uh, live pitch person. Then I was in the shopping channel in Canada. And I was doing direct response. And long well, short of it, I, uh, I, you know, as right and evolve. From there, I um, just you know I had a platform and I, I had a message, and I just wanted that as a trainer, you can only train so many people so many times a day, you right. know, so many clients. And I, I said, how can I leverage this? And um, you know, so I, I, I looked at it and I came up with the concept. You know what? I'm going to create a reality TV show, a show that was very famous at the time. And it would really bother me because, and I won't name this show, you probably know what it is, but uh, I, it's not about being a loser. It's about being a winner. And right. I think, you know, when, when you can help people have success and win, I think to me, that, that was the, the turning point for me. I said, you know what? You're taking people out of an environment, you're putting them on a fat farm, and then, you know, once they go back into their own environment. Yeah, it's not sustainable. Really exactly. Exactly. It, yeah. You know, it's funny because that, that, sh that show used to call me up every year. They were like, yo, we want to get you on. We want you to be one of the trainers. They would call me every day. They're like, you know, Mark, do you think you could be competitive with, with, with these trainers? Yeah. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. You're taking people uh, who are out of shape to begin with. You're putting them on a calorie deficit and you're overtraining them. I said, just from the amount of cortisol you're yeah. creating alone, you're slowing, you're slowing down their weight loss. I said, I could... 
beat those guys with uh, three to four hours of training a week with the same people, and they would never call yeah. me back. But every every year, they, <laughs> every year they would call me, but they would yeah. never call me to actually get on the show because uh, it's all based on a certain amount of uh, humiliation, uh, gratification. Yeah, you know, watch, yeah. watching watching yeah. the person suffer. Yeah, and, and I don't think that's what fitness was about, you know, it sh or should be about, you know. And, and I think you're right, Mark. Mark and, and that's exactly what bothered me because it was really the the band aid approach. You mm -hmm. weren't really listening to core issues, and when you really when working with obese people, and again, that was my passion. Just you know, from from working with clients, and I love training the athletes. That's the fun part, you know. But really, the passion came from really helping people, and that's what I'm about. I know I've worked with the inner city games. I've worked with different foundations. Um, and that's always been something I just want to give back. And, you know, this isn't something that I had a, a blueprint or, you know, in life, you don't get that, you know. And, and I think that's where, you know, I want to be able to help people and give them, a, you know, if nothing else, you know, it's funny because I, I was thinking about it, you know, getting ready for the show and just kind of going through, you know, my meditation and, and just this journey. And I can't, it's all pivotal moments. And in life, that's what happens. Um, and, and to continue with the stories, what happened? I'm shooting a reality show, and I never knew anything about the beverage space. And long right. short of it, I came up with the concept that wow, there's nobody doing an energy drink uh, with weight loss benefits. Because I saw, you know, all these energy drinks out there, and, and I started looking at the landscape, um, and I'm like, wow, there's nothing out here. If you if you you know need energy, which is a nine billion dollar year market. Um, wow. More than likely, you could benefit from the weight loss, which is a fifty-five billion dollar industry. Sixty-eight percent of the population is overweight. So, with that said, I'm like, huh? I need a mass brand appeal that that was actually good for you, that had additional benefits. And you know, when I looked at what was out there, there's a lot of drinks out there. What do they have? Caffeine, just tons of caffeine. Then taurine, erythritol, sucralose. And, you know, I started talking to consumers and yeah, yeah, it, it was, it was like talking to consumers. It, it was like, wow, you know, it didn't even taste good. <laughs> a lot of them, yeah, I didn't yeah. hear a lot of people saying how great these tasted. So I said, wow, if I could come up with, um, you know, something that had nutritional value. Now, mind you, you know, there's a journey and, and kind of back to that pivotal moment. And one company that's always inspired me um, was Coca-Cola. And, you know, I just, you know, just the story of Coke and how they started, people look at it now and look, they're, they're a monster. But the, the truth is, I think the first year is, is like they sold 900 bottles of Coke their first year. It was, mm. it was a very minimal amount. So, right, right. You know, what people don't realize, it's a journey and life is a journey. So, you know, really looking at, you know, the journey that for, for me with the energy was like I started and uh, I, I evolved and we just launched our plant-based wellness drink about a year ago so you know from that standpoint you know what i saw and this is you know we launched i came up with the idea pre-covid so you know it's, it's serendipity now looking back on it where you know i not i'm like huh elderberry zinc vitamin d vitamin c plant-based and um there was a show that, that i started watching which was game changers a buddy of mine you know i told him hey I, you know I've been doing plant-based diet and I would do it to shock my system and I would go vegetarian. And he says, Oh, you saw game changers. I said, no, what, what is that? He says, it's a show on Netflix. Go check it out. So once I did that, it all made sense. I'm like, wow, nobody's doing a plant-based wellness hydration drink mm. with no caffeine, no worth to call. So our, our brand itself, the energy is, you know, the healthy alternative with plant-based wellness hydration, Elderberry, zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, and it's, it tastes it's, good. It's, and it tastes good. <laughs> this this and, tastes and good. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, but, I like this flavor. This mango, um, what is it? Oh, the mango, mango ginger. Mango ginger. Yeah. It's banging. Yeah. What well, is funny? It's funny because we just launched that. You know, the the mango ginger. We launched that um, about a month ago. So mm. you know, one of the things that that you know. A lot of people, it's the stick pack water, so you just, you know, have the water, which I'm going to have some right now. This is uh, going to pop some in. And then, yeah, pop it in, boom, right? And then uh, shake it, shake it. So we have the yeah. beverage. And yeah, I think people like the, I, I like the fact that I can take it into the gym in a little packet yeah. and just throw it in the water bottle that I have, get the energy. But it was, it's interesting because when I first tried it, 
you know, you remember we at the, at the at the Super Bowl party. Yeah. I first yeah. tried it, I actually started sweating. Like it got me really energetic. I said, "Wow, is this caffeinated?" I'm like, "No, no I couldn't caffeinated. believe it." Yeah, yeah, my eyes got open. Yeah. Like you really get that kick, and uh, it's all plant based. So I was very impressed with the product, man. Awesome. No. So what it's, advice? It, 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 oh, what advice can you give before I forget to people who are looking at the wellness industry? To diversify a lot of people are diversifying right now they don't know where to put their money they know they don't like what they're doing the pandemics pandemics opened up a lot of minds and eyes they want to do something that perhaps is helping people like you what's the best advice you can give to a, a potential entrepreneur looking to get into the wellness space yeah you know i think i think the biggest thing that that i could share and, and it's just passion passion with purpose if you follow your passion because being an entrepreneur is not easy. No, it, not at all. You know, but but, <laughs> but in the in the same token, I don't I don't look at it's not work. I mean, and again, I focus on helping other people. It's funny because you know somebody asked me the other day, well, you know, if you sell your company, how much money are you going to get? I'm like, I haven't even thought of that. I've never even thought right. like I don't I don't operate that way because my focus is helping people. So my my one thing is passion and help people. So, you know, when I, when I started the company and, and it all started simple steps. So the, the advice that I give is, you know, follow your passion and then, you know, you, you got to create the roadmap, you know, and the roadmap can be, you know, starting with one brick, you know, and then add another brick, then another brick. Cause I didn't have this all planned out. Like I, if I, if I, I'm going to sit here and tell you every dot I connect, it's been part of the journey. But, you know, again, as you mature and you, you get around different people, and that's something else that's very, very important. Make sure you surround yourself with the right people, the right energy, because I believe that energy and the people that, that you're around um, attracts good. Good attracts good, it attracts positive, negative attracts negative. And, you know, if, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you, you want to make sure that there's role models, self-help. I'm, I'm still to this day, I can tell you feed my mind with with positive input and you know it's not it's like working out mark yeah you got to keep strengthening the muscles yeah it's the mental muscles you know and you mm -hmm. know again you got to be able to handle those weights of life and i think that's what happened covid covid has really think about this if you're an entrepreneur you want to be in this space you could say oh my gosh covid it's bad 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 or you could say how can i help people during this time and that's kind of right. what happened with me. It just kind of fell into place because this is pre-COVID. I started working on the plant-based. I came up with the concept, but I started working on the concept uh, plant-based, elderberry, zinc, vitamin D. I don't have to say immune boosting ingredients or anything. COVID has really, think about this. COVID has changed the way we think and how we act. Health and wellness is a universal language we all need to embrace. And COVID has really tightened that awareness. Yeah, and, and, and it's like everything right now, it doesn't matter how much money you have, it doesn't matter what your uh, background is, your ethnicity, or what have you, COVID doesn't discriminate. And here's what I think is so, so important. And this is where I just really take it to another level. Because I'm not going to sit here, you know, and, 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 you know, say that it's one thing, because it's about people. And I don't care what your background is, but if we, you know, look at it from a, a message, you know, think about it. We all have a B. So, you know, for us, our, our message for our, our, our movement, which is really what we're about, is eat healthy, drink healthy, be healthy. That's our, our community initiative to help people. And with that movement, think about it. Be healthy, be happy, be complete. What's your B? We all have a different B. So mm -hmm. for me, it's like if we can really bring people and to my mind is be united, unite people, use this platform, help them on us and use this epidemic to bring people together, not divide people. Because at the end of the day, like, like I said, if you don't have your help and wellness, nothing else matters. Yeah. So you yeah. either pay now or you pay later. Yeah. You pay uh, preventative or you pay prescription, as I like to say. But you don't you yeah. don't escape you don't escape paying if you don't put that mental energy into your own health and wellness and um it so much affects your earning capacity your health and wellness so people think that, that you know sometimes you feel like instead of eating you're gonna skip that meal and work that extra hour or two 
but your brain function is slowing down because it's not getting the nutrients. So are you actually more effective using that hour or are you more effective, you know, stopping to actually give yourself nourishment so you can keep on working at a certain level of proficiency? But I want to get to the next question. Um, you've mentioned something interesting. Uh, you said 68 percent of the uh, country's obese, overweight. Right. But there are more fitness products in gyms now than ever. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I know why. And it, it, yeah, it, yeah. I, I know exactly why. It's, it's, it's like, and I'll sit here, and as good as thin energy is, I will never say, drink this, take this pill, this is, this is all you need to do. I, I would never say that. Thin energy is a lifestyle brand that fits into your life. So back to that missing component, it's about behavior modification. And just like you're saying, what did you just say about eating good, the nutrients, the functionality, your body responds to good food, good nutrients. It's like working out. I mean, there's been science that working out 30 minutes to an hour a day, uh, you actually get more energy in your body. You, you increase your endorphins. You increase. So all the, this is sustainable. So that's the key. Back to what you're saying about, you know, being sustainable. Deprivation doesn't work. You know, no. the starvation, you know, it doesn't work. So I think, you know, when, when you look at what's missing, behavior modification, iron sharpens iron. Man sharpens man. And that's our whole initiative. Eat healthy, drink healthy, be healthy initiative. Because it's a lifestyle. It's not one thing. It's not a pill. It's not a device. It's not what how many people think about January 1st? What happens? Oh yeah, we're gonna get in shape, right? We're gonna get in shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. You know, and as a trainer, it's funny because I, I used to, you know, be a trainer and, and I would call it the 30-day wonder. You know, because when clients would come to me, I was selective, like, this is a team effort. And just like you, like, they've got to meet you. You can't do it for them. And that was the hardest part for me as a trainer. I wanted to help so many people. And, and it would frustrate me because, you know, they pay the money. They, they I'm ready to go January 1. Right. And next, you know, 30 days later, I'm like, they're the 30 it's a wrap. Yeah, they, they ran out of gas. I wonder yeah. where they're at. Mm -hmm, <laughs> they're mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gyms are empty again. So I think I think what you said earlier was important too, Mark, is, you know, it doesn't, you know, take, you know, seven hours a day and seven days a week, just, you know, three days, whatever, you, whatever your starting point is, you have to have a starting point and then you build to it. It's like being an entrepreneur, you know, so many people, oh, I want to do it all the, you know, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. They buy the books, they buy the tapes, they do this, they do that. They just keep. They keep becoming consumers of the information instead of actual uh, application. Right. Daily momentum. You know, mm -hmm. if I can get 1% better today than I was yesterday. Yeah, making it. progress. Yeah. That's it. Just building blocks, building blocks, building blocks, whether it's your health, wellness, or your financial um, uh, fitness, or, or whatever that is. You want to just have building blocks and just small steps. Working out. I don't care if it's one hour you know, a week, a week, start with that, you know, 10 minutes a day, whatever, get into the habit, start right. slow, build on that, build on that, build on that. Right. Guess what? You eat, you know, and you exercise, you're going to see change, right? Eat properly. Let me, let me rephrase that. Eat properly, you know, good. Nutrition. Right, right, right. So, yeah. Be, be consistent with the eating. What can you, um, what can you say to people who have failed perhaps entrepreneur wise in the wellness industry and they're trying to get back into it or they had a loss. Or, can you talk to them about, cause I know it didn't, yeah. every step wasn't straight up for you. There was some peaks and valleys in there. Yeah. So yeah. How, how do you, how, how'd you get through the tough times? Man, you know, I, 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 you know, the first thing is one thing I learned, um, you know, from, from my self help and, and, you know, following different Tony Robbins or whoever is it, it, I mean, people think these guys just did it overnight. Failure, um, leads to success. First off, there is no failure. It's just one more step in the right direction right. of what I to do, right? It's like, and then you take a little bit from that past experiences, past experiences, those past experiences lead you to the next step. And Lord, I, I, I mean, I look back on this journey and where I started to where I'm at now and, you know, it's just building blocks. And I, like I said earlier, I didn't have this all figured out. I was going to do, you know, X, Y, and Z, it was like, I did this, and this happened, I pivoted here. This happened, I pivoted there. In fact, it's funny because I, uh, I'll, I'll show you something. Hold on. This, this is, this is, this 
this is where I started. Um, I started with this bottle. It's a multi-shot bottle. And I, I launched that. And what happened is it's a multi-shot bottle, which let me know my, my vision with this is I'm going to start this. I'm going to sell it online. And then, then what happened is I pivoted to this because I knew I needed to get into retail. So right. this was online, which, which we have. And then um, we, we then came out with this and now, you know, we have the, the stick packs. So, you know, I think, I think, you know, the point with that is just take positive steps, daily momentum. And as long as you just realize that there is no failure and you embrace the journey, it's going to be hard. I mean, I, there's not one person that I know that's been successful. I mean, Amazon. Look at Amazon. I mean, yeah, everybody, yeah. you know, oh, I'll look at that it's, guy. It's he not, it's not so an overnight well. company. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, well, you know what they say? They say it takes seven years to become an overnight success. I'm in year seven. So, mm. you know, it's taking me seven years right, to get it just to get to this point with, with, with the beverage. Now, I'm not, I'm not even going back to the whole, you know, with the book and all of that and da da da, but all those steps and part of that journey led me to this. And, you know, I think that's important because I believe people right now, I mean, during this time, everybody, you know, we, we all need to really take our take inventory. You know, what is it that, you know, you want in your life? And, and we only have one, one, one time around and, you know, time is valuable. So that time that, that you have, um, man, just, you know, just really embrace it and just small steps. And if you said, I'm, you know, even just being kind to other people, just be yeah. kind to your neighbor, encouraging people. Yeah. yeah. And that stuff comes back to you. It is so funny because I'm a people person and I love people. And I don't care, you know, where I'm at, or, you know, I just, you know, people are, you know, that's what makes this world go round and round, you know, and that's, yeah. that's embrace it. Yeah, just, I think, just, uh, uh, you know, just. Yeah, I think sometimes people get caught up into their, um, into their own wellness, you know, you're thinking about me. I want to be well, yeah. you know, I want to yeah. have this, I want to have that. But we, sometimes we lose focus on the fact that, you know, if I can get you to that and a few other people around me my environment's going to be so much better because now I have other people around me who are well, and that's going to make the general population better. So, you know, we don't think about environmental wellness sometimes as something that is our duty as a, as a citizen, but, you know, we always think about our own personal wellness, but we do have a responsibility to, um, you know, environmentally be well, to make sure we care about not just oil and gas, but taking care of our fellow man, making sure people have the right provision so they can pursue their own wellness. You know, I think, that's so essential. And we, and we overlooked that point. You know, it's an ever growing list. Now there are 12 different uh, keys of wellness, you know, and it's ever expanding. It might be 15 or 20 tomorrow, but environmental yeah. now is a, is a pillar. They made that a pillar of wellness and it wasn't there maybe a year and a half or two years ago. But yeah, I say that's the biggest, you know, that's the biggest that's concern that's now for, uh, for youth uh, in, in the next 30 years is not going to be racism. It's going to be uh, the environment, you know, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I clean oxygen, important. clean water. Yeah, I, and, and I think I think back to part of you know the whole being kind to, to your fellow man. Um, man, you know it, it is so important, and, and yeah. just that that littlest thing that could just a, a kind word, just saying hi yeah. to you, just yeah. you know, and it's not even gone out of your way. It's just. You know, pay it forward. Just the kind word. You never know what that other person's gone through, and man, it, it just it doesn't take a lot. If we all doesn't, just doesn't take that, anything from you. Goal, it doesn't. It, it just you know, just being kind and pay that forward, and and, and have a positive impact in, in the world. And it, it, it's, it's a village. It takes a village. It's not just you know, yeah. Dr. Mark. It's it's the whole. But you know, as leaders of today. Right. Mm -hmm. The future of tomorrow is up to the leaders of today and our future yeah. are our kids. And if we don't get to our kids and we start giving them that positive hope, you know, impact. And, and you know, it, it's, it's funny because my, my coach, I think I said this, but, you know, my coach said to me, he says, you know, he gives me the book Cybergenics. And he says, you know, he says, Mike, if you want to be a millionaire, he says, this book doesn't just apply to basketball. He says, this book can be applied to life and the power of the mind and visualization. And he says, but, you know, if, if you want to be a millionaire, don't do what your parents are doing. 
Go out there right. and find people that are having the success that you want to have and emulate that. Model the, those those individuals. And right. it's funny, this is before I even heard about Tony Robbins. I, I'm in 10th grade mm-hmm. at the time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, then, then I, be, I, I just started following Tony Robbins and Ziggler. And one, one of the, the biggest thing, anybody that wants to be an entrepreneur, the, the one thing, I don't know, I, I forget that. I don't care if you want to be an entrepreneur, but you just want to get more out of life. Let's just start with that. You know, yeah, yeah. like you don't even have to be an entrepreneur, but to get more out of life, the one book, and please download it, Audible, uh, whatever you want to do, go get Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Hey, that's a classic. Think and Grow Rich, yeah. isn't it? And, and, and those principles apply. And every so many people that I've met, successful people, business, athletes, what have you, a lot of people, have every, they, they, that was one of their, um, they're, they're, uh, yeah, books, the core books. Yeah. Yeah. The course, building blocks, the foundational books. books. Yeah. yeah. That, that foundation of that, um, I just encourage it. Think and grow rich. In fact, you know, um, I know you and I are collaborating on some different things and I'm excited to share with your audience as, as you continue on your journey. And man, I'm here to, you know, just as brothers, man, just come together and help one yeah, another. Man. And I'm excited for what, what you have going on. And I was going to say, uh, you know, for your audience, what we're going to do you know, for our stick packs, we're going to, um, if they go to our website and they want to um, order some product, we'll give them 25% off using their oh, that's code dope. Mark Jenkins. Yeah, that's dope. So, All know, right, fam. So, you, you, know, pay you heard that. that. Hit the Mark yeah. Jenkins code. And what, what yeah. stores are you in right now? Wow, that, that, so we, what we did is we launched in, um, we launched in Publix. I'm in Florida. I'm in the yep. Tampa area. So we launched in Publix and, um, from there, we actually have picked up uh, out, out in Phoenix, Arizona. So we're, we're, we're focusing on Florida, Arizona, mm-hmm. and then New York. So we picked up Arizona. We're um, onboarding with Bosch's and then also with uh, Sprouts. We're onboarding there. Texas, HEB, we're onboarding. And nice. uh, like I said, we just literally launched nice. yeah, I, within a year. Uh, and, but the momentum I've gotten in the last year is more than what I've done in you know, the last six years. I've done more than six months than I've done in, in the last six years. And what do you so attribute that just, to? What what do you what do you what are you attributing just, that to? Uh, perseverance, you know, and just just you know and, and, and meeting the right people and the right energy and just you know actually it was right before COVID and, and like I said I keep going back to that because that was another pivotal moment. But I just you know what it was. I went back to the basics. I just knew I had to take inventory. Who's around me? Who you know, time's valuable. Where am I spending my time? Who who am I allowing in my circle? And I just cut a lot of that off. And I, I just found that it wasn't you're either, you know, you're either working with me and, and we're working together or you're working against me. And uh, not in a bad way. It was just like, okay, right, I, right. I so j- just real, just real. Purpose, a drive. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, it's like a drive and, and I have a vision. And, you know, this, this is like, I, you don't just give up, you know. And it doesn't happen overnight. It just, you have to have, you know, the, the perseverance. And, and that's that's the key. So for me, it was just kind of going back to the basics. You know, and recalibrate, the- recap, recalibrate the value, you know, evaluate the recalibrate. Ah, give the folks the website so they can go order some uh, product 25% off with the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, www.thinenergy.com. That's T-H-I-N, thinenergy.com. And then... Also, you know, with that too, Mark, you know, the code is Mark Jenkins. That's it. And they'll get 25%. Oh, that's dope. Thank you. And free, sh- and free shipping, free shipping. So, oh, that's dope. You know, again, I, I'm like, yeah, I'm excited for our journey. And, and as you become more involved with our, our community and live that, that you and I have been speaking with, and um, I'm really, really excited to have you part of that. Because, um, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I know where your part is, man. I know what your passion is. Yeah, I'm just trying to help people. I mean, you know, fitness and wellness, it was so, um, uh, changed, it changed my life. Uh, you know, who knows what direction I would have went in if I didn't get join the military and start getting into wellness and fitness. There was no wellness back then. That, that was 92. That was just the fitness lifestyle. That's what they called it, right? Yeah. You remember, right? Hey, we just living the fitness lifestyle. Yeah. You know, there was no wellness. Yeah. Nobody knew. The wellness yeah. thing came a little bit later. But we knew... Yeah. You know, part of the fitness lifestyle was making sure you got proper rest, making sure you were eating right, making sure that 
Mm-hmm. Even though if you had a lucrative job that had you in the office 40, 50 hours a week, that wasn't good for your health. Although you were making money, that wasn't part of the fitness lifestyle. So for me, it was always very important to stress to people like, you know, exercise costs money, eating healthy costs money, investing, eating plant-based costs money. You have to, your fitness has to pay. It has to show you some type of benefit where you can justify spending that money. So either it has to make you money if you're working in the wellness industry, or you have to take those lessons that you learn from getting in shape and apply them to other facets of your life. So it's full circle. And that's where you don't have that hesitation by investing in yourself because you're getting that benefit 360 by performing better. But you have to buy into that fitness lifestyle. So that's what I try to talk to people and get that story out. And that's how you and I connected because the vibe was so great at the Super Bowl party and the energy of your team. Everybody was like, wow, you couldn't even tell no one was related. I thought you guys were all brothers and sisters because it was such a family vibe. I was like, this is something that I want to be a part of. And the product had my eyes wide open and it was not caffeinated. And I'm a coffee drinker. Yeah. So I can tell you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, so I, yeah. I was blown away. And I'm yeah. excited for what we uh we got going on ahead in the future. Yeah. So I don't want to take too much yeah. of your time. I'm gonna close it out, but yeah. uh give the people some of your last, you know, your your last because you dropped a lot of knowledge and wisdom. So give them your last yeah. advice as an entrepreneur yeah. and, and, and as a human being. You know, I, I think just to kind of hit on something you just said about, you know, the cost. A lot, like, oh, you know, it talk it costs you know, eat healthy or take, but no, it costs more not to do it. It you does. Pay now or you pay less. Look at yeah. preventative, I mean, obesity, uh, you know, the second leading cause of preventable death is obesity, right behind smoking, right? So when you think of this, when you either pay now or you pay later, and it's funny because as a trainer, I would actually, you know, tell, you know, it, it would drive me nuts when, when people would say that, well, I can't afford the, I can't, oh, that costs too much. I'm like, hey, well, you know, think your body. I mean, a lot of people take better care of a seven, do, you know, a $7 cat, if you will, uh, than they do a million dollar body. You know, think about it. You know, they'll take better care of their pet than they do. Yeah. Take care of their or, or their car or their pet. car. They'll put, they'll yeah, put premium yeah, gas yeah. in their car and then they'll take the car yeah. and drive to McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, 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 that type of thing. They'll take the Benz and McDonald's and go to the drive through and eat a Whopper, but after they put a 93 in the octane in the, or their car, have, you know, don't even think about it. It doesn't register yeah. at all. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing, you know, just, you know, just be kind, help other people. And, and, you know, if you really just take action, daily momentum, take action, daily momentum. Small steps. You know, it, you know, it's, it's, it's small steps. And, and just because it takes 21 days to make something a habit. So repetition is the mother skill. So don't get discouraged. There's no failure. There's just a reset or a pivot. You know, you're, you're always progressing. But, you know, once you stop evolving, then, then you're going backwards. You're, you're dying. So just keep evolving. Just, you know, embrace life and enjoy it and help help others. Just, again, put if you focus on helping other people get what they want, you're going to get what you want. Period. That's what's up. Hey, thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate it. Thanks for the thin energy. I know you got some cases coming towards my way in New York. So I got some from my NY clients. If you want to sample yeah. that, you know, definitely get at me. DM me. I got a, I think nice. I got a couple of cases coming. Um, hey, I appreciate it, man. man. You, you actually we're, we're dropped ship a lot global, of global, man. We're gonna sh- Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna ship global soon. But you you dropped a lot of a lot of keys in that. So I hope people really listen and uh, uh, take heed of what you're saying, especially with the books and the required reading, because that's where your foundation is like that. Um, think and grow rich. Yeah. That's like a squat. That's something you're supposed to be the yeah. foundation of your core of your program, a squat or, or a barbell curl, the basic foundational stuff that gives you strength later on when you get to your other movements or you get more far advanced in lifting. So that definitely uh, think and grow rich is a foundational book that everybody should read. Um, Mike, thank you so much. Give them the website one more thank time you. and the code then energy.com, right? Yes. Thinenergy.com and Mark Jenkins. Just put in Mark right. Jenkins, no space, and you're good to go. Hey, I appreciate 25% you. 25% off. And we ship it. I appreciate you, sir. Hold on. I'm going to outro, but don't leave. We're going to talk right after. Take care, guys. It's the anabolic mind, the health, wealth, and wellness connection. Invest in wellness. Invest in yourself. Peace and love.
podcast is brought to you by Winject Studios. We are an all-in-one educational platform for podcasters that revolutionizes how hosts leverage content to increase engagement with listeners, downloads, and income. We come together to focus on community, collaboration, and collective impact. For more information on how you can interact directly with our hosts, access exclusive live content with offers you can't get anywhere else from our official partners, join our purpose-driven community by visiting www.winject.com. If you're ready to build a career doing what you love, then we're ready to see you there.